Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about NATO. We're going to talk about the U.S. We're going to talk about foreign policy. And we're going to talk about a perception that people have, particularly if you are younger. If you are under the age of 30, watch this video. Um, we're going to do this because I got a message. And it, it made so many things just suddenly like fall into place and make sense for me. So here's the message. I've watched you since my senior year in high school when I met you after the hurricane when your son locked your keys in your truck. I remember this. I remember you. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> that was a very frustrating day. So I know you have no problem calling out U.S. adventurism, to use your word. Cough, imperialism, cough. Why do you believe the U.S. isn't the bad guy here? Our entire lives, it's been the U.S. lying about wars. Now I'm supposed to believe them. I'm at FSU now, and one of my professors, who is always very critical of the U.S. and NATO, is beating the war drum suddenly. Thanks for not doing that, by the way. I just want to know what you and she see that made you change. There's one line in here that just, it's like a light bulb went off over my head. Our entire lives, it's been the U.S., lying about wars. No. No. Your entire life, it's been the U.S. lying about wars. I'm old. I'm willing to bet your professor is too. From your scope, from your entire life experience, any time the U.S. or NATO was engaged in a military action on the international scene, it lied. It did things it wasn't supposed to. It did all sorts of deceitful things. It manufactured consent. All of this stuff, right? Because of that, your perception of it is that this is what the U.S. and NATO do. Okay? And then when you started looking back through history, my guess is that that perception colored all of the events of the past that you learned about. Because it was true through your entire life experience. Okay. I, I want to help reframe that a little bit. Something that is also true through your entire life experience. 100% of the time, large powers that engage in military interventions lie. Engage in deceit. Do things they're not supposed to. Manufacture consent. I think what has happened, at least for some people, and it, it explains a lot of things that I've seen over the last month, is that because of that perception, because of the fact that your entire life, only the U.S. and NATO were, were on the international stage making moves of any international significance, that behavior is solely associated with the U.S. and NATO. It's not the case. It's not the case. I'm not saying NATO or the U.S. doesn't do that. All major powers do that. It's not that U.S. or NATO intervention is bad. It's that all interventions like this are bad. And all major powers that engage in military intervention, they all do the same things. It isn't that a particular state using violence on the international scene is bad. It's that all states using violence on the international scene are bad. Um, it's just that through the scope of your life, there's only been one major player. There, there's been one group that has engaged in this. Now... There are other countries that are doing things that are international in scope. They're not just hitting smaller countries around their border. They're doing things that impact the rest of the world. You're, you're going to see it more and more. It isn't that NATO or the U.S. is good or bad. It's just that this is what large powers do. It's... It isn't, uh, it isn't isolated to any particular nation or alliance. They all do it, and they all will. Um, 
this has been true through all of modern history and going back to antiquity. It's just that for your life, for a lot of people's lives, the only player was U.S. and NATO. So that behavior has become associated with them when it's really something that every large power does. And now that, now that you, you can see another large power doing it, it's disconcerting. If you look at Ukraine and compared it to the run-up to Iraq, the manufacturing of consent, the Z instead of the yellow ribbon, it, it, it's the pretexts, it's all the same. Every country does it. It's not just NATO, not just the U.S. And now that other countries are starting to make plays on the international scene, you're going to see it more and more. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.